Let's see what this game is all about. Trippy bug catching. <laughs> oh, let's go for the pinkish one. Salmon? Hmm, they make little sounds. Oh, I can draw lines. But how do I know? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Go there. Ah, I did it! Oh. Oh, I... I... Sorry, I messed up. They're all falling down. I didn't mean to. I stole the stars from the sky. What's that? Annette? Bug net? Hey, Annette! <laughs> Here we are. In Paradise Marsh. I'm ready to catch some bugs. Tab for book. Collection. Left click for a quick swing. Hold to sneak. So this is why, this is the sole reason I was like, I should really play Paradise Marsh. I love the Zaster piece. I love their music. I love the music in Hyper Light Drifter. I love the music in It Follows, one of my favorite movies. So amazing. Let's play it. Okay. So we don't have anything here yet. There's a big monolith back there. A message in a bottle? Um, what do I do with it? Message in a bottle. For an instant, the warmth of the sun felt so familiar. But as soon as I opened my eyes, I couldn't recognize the surroundings. How could I have wandered this far from home? I shut my eyes, hoping the feeling would come back. Only to find my restless heart pounding. Ah, my first message. Okay. Should we check that? Ooh. Is rain coming? It's gonna rain, isn't it? Oh, it's raining! <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh, there was a snail there, but I disappeared. Do you think we can make him go away? How do I sneak up on him? Ooh, mushroom. Oh, I ate it. Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. <laughs> oh god, I should have done that. A rookie mistake. Oh god. Okay, are we coming down already? Okay, that's good. How do I sneak? Is this sneaking? There's another mushroom. It's so shiny. I know I shouldn't, but... Whoa. I'm really... Uh, am I flying? Whoa. Wait, what are these? Carrots? <laughs> okay. Uh, those are too big to eat. Hey, is this this is a different monolith, isn't it? Scarecrow. Different monolith, right? Ooh, another message. Oh, can I talk to you? Carl, look at you! Just finished writing this. Ready to dive into a storm of words? Deep in the air, cold whisper. Blossoms amidst trees torn asunder. Decay. Decay! In the golden rain. Wind bites like a familiar echo. Like the whistle of distant trains. Reminding me it's time to go. Cool. How'd you like this one? Not sure it's my best. Did you get it at least? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I hear a bug. <gasps> a bee. 
Can I catch one? They might get mad. I think I got it! Abby. Hee <laughs> hee! B. Apis Millifera. Sleeps at night, never far from the hive. A devoted member of the hive. A reminder that community arises from putting the common good before your own. Oh, one of three. Ah. And then we can make another constellation. Okay, now let's get out of here before they get mad. This is where I was going. Is nighttime coming? Oh, yeah. A weight dragging in my pocket caught my attention. A small worn compass and a chance to find my way through the me meandering arms of this marsh. But it, its needle spins around nervously, unsure of where it's supposed to lead me. Oh. oh. Wait, what am I doing? I'm just, I was just sitting on it? Oh, it's really dark. But there might be, like, night bugs. <gasps> there, something's glowing in the distance. Oh, this is deep. Is that the music? Is that an owl? There's an owl there. But I gotta check out the glowy first. That's fire. Can I? <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> it's not working. Oh! <laughs> My little hands! <laughs> They're so cute! Let's go say hi to the owl. Oh, spider. Uh, do I have to approach him slowly? Yes. Never been so happy to catch a spider. Ooh, one of five. Nocturnal creature can only see movement. The incarnation of sternness and precision, sometimes at the expense of the more vulnerable. <laughs> Hi! Nice evening, isn't it? Would you lend an ear to some rhymy words? A lonesome moonrise, my fire sleeps in purrs, lazy. Over my tired absent eyes, cast a shade in the chimney. Pages turn to my precious a dream elsewhere, to lay my mind bare before the sunrise. Sure. Hoot! <laughs> If that doesn't make him understand, nothing will. Hoot hoot. Okay, we got a spider. Got two bugs already. Do you think there's a frog somewhere? I think I'm sneaking up on him. Ah, so if the thing, the little frame comes up, then I can catch it. Sweet! Jumping night creature can't handle water. Hm. Ooh, been catching bugs all night. I don't even know where I'm headed. Something back there? I can see bugs. Aw, tractor, cute. Oh, this is cute. I don't even know if I go hungry or something. Oh, what's this? Huh? I can plant seeds. Tulips! Okay, cool. Can I put it down? Oh, there. Hee <laughs> hee! Flowers everywhere! 
has it. What's this one? Ooh. Refreshing? Question mark? Oh, a bird. Can I catch the bird? I don't think so. But I can try. Yeah, <laughs> not allowed to. But I do see a butterfly. Oh. Ron, get it! Get it, get it, get it! Get it! Yes! Caught him in the act of flying. What's this one? Does it belong to the spider? Sits alone in the sun, slow and floaty. Hmm. One of four. So it does not belong to the spider. Even though they're on the same page. See anything else? What's that? Pear? Oh, now I'm lower to the ground. Oh, maybe that'll help me. Maybe I'm more sneaky now. Oh, he angry. What are you gonna do? Get him! Oh, he went way up. Are there more? I heard something. Oh, there. Oh, I think he went away for the night. Oh, can I? I actually didn't even check out the glowing pillars. Oh! Yes, yes, yes! Um, what are they called again? Yeah! <laughs> what are they called? Why can't I think of it? Firefly. For some reason, that word was nowhere in my brain. Flying night insect. Cool. I got it. something in the back there? Wait, I was heading here. What does it do? Are these the ones I've caught? Oh, okay, so... It doesn't give me a location or anything. Hey, Japanese story. Is the night already ending? But no! Oh, there's something back there. Ooh. I think I already got these though. Aren't they just the same ones? Yeah. Get out of here. Don't need you. Oh, what's that water? What do I call him? Geyser? Ho oh, ho ho! Now I can get a lay of the land! Didn't see anything. <laughs> oh, there's a snail there. My mind leaps from one grassy island to the next as the rest of my body tries to follow. Carried by the twisted path of dirt in the hope that they'll lead me back home. From time to time I take a break to look at the horizon, trying to find a cabin where I can acquire directions. Okay, let's see. Can I sneak up, sneak up on this one? Did it. Ho oh, ho. Snail. Doesn't like the sun. Very alert. Well, I got him anyway. 
Is that a snowman? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Oh, it is cold. Oh, it is a snowman! I was making a joke. Uh-oh. Am I drowning? Come on, you can make it. Do I need to, like, shake it off? I don't know. I'm stuck. I'm very slow. Oh, there we are. Oh, I can make a snowman. Yes. Give the man a- oh. <laughs> That's not- <laughs> Well. <laughs> Maybe we'll put his- No. Yeah, he's looking up. He's looking up. <laughs> he's looking up at the sky. See? <laughs> can I give him extra hands? He's kind of cute. Wanderer. Oh, I said a certain amount. Oh, his hands are back as well. Do you want like... No, no, no. Don't ruin it. Throw it away. Oh, dang it. Here. Now you're a centipede guy. Can I give you buttons? Oh, I think I messed up an eye and a button. Oh, oh well. You, you look amazing. <laughs> Why did they get so snowy? I noticed a brief shimmer on a distant hill. Walked up to it, helplessly drawn. A tall, angular shape stood, its sharp, shrilling darkness urging me to touch it. The oscillating tone was uncanny yet familiar. It came to my senses some time later, only to find it gone, leaving me craving for its touch. Wait, did the other one that we touched disappear as well? There's another snail back there. Don't freeze. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Ice! Can I eat it? Yeah! Ice lolly. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, this one has a bow. Hmm. Let's put this one. Yeah. Perfect! <gasps> a pipe? Do you want a pipe? Hee <laughs> Give him some eyeballs. Cute! So cute! <laughs> Here you go. Buttons. Yes. Perfect. Oh, a crow just left. I was about to go talk to him. What's this? Ah! I got it. That's a cute one. Toad. Lurks in unusual places. Can dig its way out. Can't really throw far. Oh, the crow's gone. Uh, back. <laughs> I knew you'd be back. Of course I have another. Just wait a second. Maybe this one. Uh, yes. All right. Here it is. I don't want the sun to rise so I can stay forever tired. Puny dreams and lies don't need to pull the last of it. Tethers wired. Crystal chuckles. Chuckles? To recall. Recall! Troves of sorrow to treasure, yet the day cannot be stalled, not even in prayers. Oh, a moth! <laughs> a moth snack! <laughs> cool. Man, every one of them is like one of many. I want like... I want two of something. Oh, this one gets a little beanie. Hi! I already got the spider. The spider. Ah, it's heating up again. What can we find? There it is. 
Oh, have I been here before? I have no idea. It's these same plants, though. Oh, little froggy! It's a different one! Get him, get him, get him! Chase him! Yes! He looks different. Does he count? Yeah! Regular frog. Jumps three times, then rests. Ah. Wait. Is that light? Oh. Is that a pillar that I've touched before? Or do they all light up, I wonder? Is that an outhouse? Do you think there's anything in it? Oh, I think I see a message. He oh, the whole thing fell apart. <laughs> um, I saw the message here. The stars glow across the lazy water as if just under the surface of a dream. I could reach out, delicate, to collect their gentle spark. My reflection warps in the water, doubtful of its shape, too shy to take its place. Like the memories that elude me, the blur that is my past. Wow. Pretty. Oh, it's very red. Oh, stop! Too red, too much, too much! Hey, Birdie, can I talk to you? Oh, I can! Why, hello there! I was just about to start. <laughs> Still and silent, shy and sleepy. Muffled steps, short winded air. Shielded behind dark, heavy curtains, the weight of blankets makes me numb. Ooh, ooh, dragonfly. Yeah. Yes. Brute force dead. Cool. Is that something on the water? The water bug? Sometimes when I enter a clearing, or when I lay by the side of a pond, this familiar feeling comes back, like the echo of something a part of me knows. Always for only a lonesome second, the truth shouting behind the thickest fog. To tell me who I am and where I'm from. What are these? Apples? Yeah, tadpoles! <laughs> cute. So cute. Entomologist, 11 of 12. Oh! One more. Let the box come to you. Oh, yeah! This is where I ate the purple mushroom. I just circled back. Ooh, coming back there. <gasps> Message? Oh, that's just staff holes again. Time has been fuzzy lately. Pass through a morning breeze quickly leads me under the moonlight. Days and nights flowing in a swirl as if I were unable to predict which one comes after the other. How long have I been here? Oh, I don't know. Those guys I already have. Let's take this beautiful bridge. Oh, I see something. I'll save you for later, bridge. I need to see what that is. It's the angry bug from before. Perfect. 12 of 12? Yeah. Bye. 
basks in the sun, gets easily irritated. <laughs> um, can I talk to you? I'm so sorry. I tried to catch her earlier and I could have just talked to you. A little poetry to brighten your day? Under a rock, over a tree, as far as the eye can see. All living creatures, big or small, fancy the colors of fall. Wow. I'm a poetry, a poetry enthusiast. Mm. What is that? Oh, it's a mushroom. I'd rather take the ice cream. Thank you very much. Oh, now I'm cold! Quick, have some soda. Oh god, I'm all kinds of messed up right now. Oh, I got so many more this time. The spider. Oh, God. Oh, God. Any bugs? Something way back there. In that direction. Oh, I haven't been there. I would have remembered an axe, I think. Oh. Oh. Did I chop it? Huh? Weird. Hey, Al. Oh, God. If it's not too much to ask, would you grace me with another minute? Rising like a tide, a gleam, a river of dreams. Rising as a chant, pulling us both in a scream. Touch preemptively felt of a skin we could caress, like a cozy old leather jacket. I wonder how many messages I can get. Ooh, okay. Oh, four more and then... Uh, six more? Four more and then two. Ooh, hello. A frozen river stood in the way. Not deterred, I trusted my foot forward. I thrusted? With a feeble arm raised in front of me, only to hear a dreadful cracking noise, my world collapsing as I fell, for an instant that seemed frozen in time until the glacial water swallowed me, swiftly dragging me in shadows. Oh, just crickets. Dang it. Ooh, what's this still? Hee hee! So cool. So, so cool. A well? Something in the well. Ooh! A toad! Oh, I already got that one. I was waiting for it to pop up. I already got you, butterfly. Get out of here. Stink. Oh, weather vane back there. My arm quickly found the edge, in a flash instinctively pulling me up. As I gasped for the cold air, a seal abruptly broke my, in my mind. Memories flooded back to me, like a dam bursting and devastating everything in its path. Bridge from earlier, you think? Kind of looks like it. Oh, but there's a bridge there, too. Oh, there's many bridges. <laughs> Pretty, though. <gasps> a pink bird! Oh, you're not pink. I have been deceived. Oh, shiny flower. Will I catch a bug? 
or will I not? Will I catch a bug or will I not? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no! I won't catch a bug! I'll get some soap instead. Echoes of drowning, of another darkness, another cold water that, not long ago, took me. Filling the wind with fear, pain, anger, and the shrieking sound of an ambulance speeding across an empty boulevard. Oh! Again! More flowers! Hehe. <laughs> oh, that's it. Okay. What do we got? Nighttime creatures? Toad? Yeah. Crickets? Don't need you guys. Oh, that's a moth, isn't it? I already got that one too. It looks different though. Yeah, I already got it. Anything else? Purple. The dark blinking sky ominous calls. Ominous? Calls. Staring softly. Like a warmth, patiently waiting to reel me in. My mind wanders, thinking of other worlds, hidden behind the glimmering veil, under the gaze of blinking stars, quiet, accepting, forgiving, inviting every part of me, however flawed, to finally take their proper place. Sakura trees! I haven't been here yet, have I? Oh, it's just a butterfly again. How many messages do I have? How many paces until the footsteps I leave belong to someone else? Soon enough, not too far now, I know the call will overtake me. I'll give my final greetings to the marsh, let go of burdens, of memories, but to enter once more the sea of stars. I'll leave behind my estranged body. Hey! Oh. Is that all the messages? Can we sit on the bench and look at the stars now? <laughs> Hello! There's the ice area. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Let's see if anything happens now. Probably not. Although it does look special. Oh, I can click on them. Were we asleep? Oh no, how long have we been gone? That was quite the slumber. It would be so easy to doze only five more minutes in a sweet bed of flowers. No, there's no more time to waste. Today we rebuild that what has been erased. Oh, and then I can connect them. Thunderation. Grant your mercy for bringing me back, noble wanderer. I sense a great deal of courage within your soul. A hero in the making. But, although I would gladly assist on your holy quest, time has not been kind to my old stars. Can I trust you to carry the flame? Oh, so... Wait, these are two crickets? Oh! Do I need to just, like, catch them 
Oh, maybe I need to like catch five of each and stuff. Catch four butterflies. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's collect more of them. Oh. Ooh. Okay, and then it's like a zigzag going down. So if I look at the stars now... Oh, this changes everything. Okay, so I had four crickets. So... Come closer. They might be listening. They got ears everywhere, you know. They don't want us to know the truth. Of course they don't! We're supposed to trust them and obey blindly, but I'm not falling for that! I can see right through their lies. Need to talk to all of them. Don't you think it's weird how stars just fell out of the sky? Something's going on. Something fishy. They don't want people to know for sure. And what do you... What do you do to get people distracted? You fake a disaster, of course. Let me tell you. Stars didn't go down on their own. Someone made them fall. I came up with a new theory. Hear me out. There's 12 of us stranded. But you know what else there's 12 of? Picture cards in the deck. Kings, queens, and jacks. The only hiccup is that a deck has 54 cards, but by my count, there's only 49 fallen stars down here. That makes five missing stars. Can't be a coincidence. Where did they go? And more importantly, who made them disappear? I'll get to the bottom of this. It's pretty obvious they don't want us back in the sky, at least not anytime soon. They'll do whatever it takes to slow you down and throw plenty of gizmos at you to catch your eye. Distractions! Only to waste your time! No time to skip stones. We need to catch them red-handed. Whatever they're up to. Oh, I can't skip stones. I don't know how, though. Whoever they are, let's connect the dots. Is that it? Ah! I'm back! <laughs> I knew they couldn't keep me away from the truth. I will expose all their fishy, scammy, sketchy schemes. But my friend, beware. They've seen us together. You might be in danger. Watch your back. <laughs> That's so funny. The deeper I dig, the thicker the plot gets. Hints are piling up. They all point in the same direction. I keep hearing mention of a shining white light. That's gotta be the center of all the fishy stuff. I'm so close, I can feel it. Actually, there's a favor I gotta ask you. you can never be too careful. If I suddenly and mysteriously disappear, promise you you'll keep investigating. Keep digging. Sometimes I catch the others looking my way, especially that monarch. They definitely know more than they're letting on. Stay cautious. We can't let them get away with this. Okay. Cool. So now I know what I need to do. I just need to get more of everything. Let's see what we can find. Okay. Watch this guy. No! I got you! Okay. Ooh, bees. Oh. Oh, I thought there was uh, gonna be a ton of them. Can I eat it? Oh, tasty honey! I'm buzzing. Where'd that other bee go, though? It's so quiet here. Oh, Fargo. Oh wait, no, I need to approach him from the water. Ah! 
Ah, oh, so close. Dang it. Come here. Yeah. Ooh, butterfly. Oh, is it just her night? Okay, how am I doing? This one's done. Two dragonflies. More fireflies. More froggies. More moths. One more snail. Two more tapples. One more toad. Okay. Hub. Hee <laughs> hee. I got one. <laughs> I'm catching things. Yes. I'll catch you. How am I doing? Oh wait, uh, so I got another frog. That's two of five. Three of five spiders. Okay, still more work to do. Ooh, there, there, there. Get out! You gonna disappear? Yeah. At least I got one. Oh, fuck. I will sneak up on my prey. He has no idea. He has no idea what's coming. The net is coming for him. Ah! Oh my God. I'm a professional now. I see another toad on my horizon. Okay, it's a butterfly back there. Maybe we should get that one first. This one. Ha! Yes. Is it four? <gasps> Ooh! I did it. The tote has been conquered. Yes. <laughs> Tadpole. Come here, my friend. Oh yeah. Yeah, once you catch one, they kind of disappear for a bit. You have no idea. I'm coming for the kill! Oh, was that it for the snail? Oh ho ho! I did it! Well, it's nighttime now, I think, so let's go talk to some snails. Oh, is it a frog? I don't have those yet, do I? No, that's not a frog. Oh my god. Ha ha ha. Cool. Okay, now let's do some talking. But it's cloudy here. Can't see. Oh. Oh. Okay. I see Froggy. Ahoy! First time around? I could never tell. At least you're not one of those French guys. Always coming after me legs. Am I right? <laughs> 
Anyway, nice place to tiptoe around, eh? Bit wet for my taste. But what's a frog to do? Hoppers can't be choosers. Met the others yet? Quite a bunch, eh? We're kind of like a big family around here, except we're all talking behind each other's backs. You can't put half of us in a room without fighting, and everybody always has something to whine about. No one ever says what they truly mean. Come to think of it, typical family stuff. That's true. You know that old joke? How does it go again? Right, what's worse than finding a worm in an apple? Finding half a worm in an apple, am I right? <laughs> A great one, if I say so myself. But seriously, have you ever eaten a worm? It doesn't taste great at first, but it grows on you. The way I see it, if you don't like something, you just haven't eaten it enough. I don't think that goes for everything. What's the deal with that net of yours? Running around, waving it like crazy? Calm down, it's not that hard to catch though. I like it being aggressive sometimes. <laughs> Most of us just floating around. Hey, it's not like I'm complaining. As far as power fantasies go, it's definitely on the cute side. Another star, well, what do you know? Keep it up and we'll have enough to... Wait a minute. One, two, three, four... Already? It's cool, really, but I wasn't ready for this to end. Oh, don't let that stop you. Do the liney dry thing. Okay. I got you. It's a big frog, in it? I feel just... Uh, I feel... Yeah, I don't know. Not really in the mood for celebration. I think I got the baby blues. Every story has to end. And every joke has to land. Am I right? <laughs> but yeah, still sad though. <laughs> Who knew that frogs were, were the jokesters? I'm about to take a little nap. Some good old guilt-free me time. Can't be on top of my game 100% of the time. Some days the only thing to do is waiting for the clouds to pass by. But don't let me rain on your parade. No need to feel obligated to hang around. I have a feeling you're the kind of person that goes all the way, finds all the secrets. I reckon that feels nice. Especially when it comes with a price for your efforts. Even a frog can appreciate acknowledgement, you know? But maybe we can't be achievers all the time. Can I talk to the cricket again? Mm hmm? I've been blackmailed. The letters and codes might take a while to decipher, but it mainly mentions flowers and sunrises. Very cryptic stuff. There's even a bunch of upside down skulls noses. A sign that I've poked my nose too far, surely? And it, it ends up with them wanting to meet. This is clearly a trap. There's no way I'll fall for this. What about Froggy then? Wish I had more lines to serve you, but I have to recharge for tonight's show. You gotta discover stuff by yourself. Can't give the whole game away. <laughs> okay. That's it. Okay, so you run out of stuff to talk about pretty quickly. Did I have this guy? Ah, you brought me a star. You shall be rewarded as I hold the knowledge of the unknown, of the darkness within the star. And as such, I shall grant you with a vision of what lies within yourself. I don't know in what order I need to do these. Approach and listen, my young apprentice. While you still wander the marsh, you'll come across hidden truths sealed in bottles, erratically resurfacing on subconscious waters. Ah, seek them and let them sink into your soul. They hold the truth, traces of yourself hidden from the mind. Songs and chants and words and thoughts left behind for you to piece together. Disciple, today's lesson is paramount. You shall know we are all awesome. We are all awesome. <laughs> We're all awesome, yeah. We're all someone else's fool. <laughs> but you ask, who is the fool's fool then? It is really quite simple. The fool's fool is the one who, the one fool fooling himself into believing the fool doesn't know he's a fool. And indeed, that is the true fool. Now be on your way. I trust this has been enlightening. <laughs> I must congratulate you for all, for you already brought me back. See, everything happens at once, but your mind isn't ready to com contemplate it still. Therefore, a disciple you remain, but soon you will fathom all. Now, constellate me. <laughs> Ah, a 
apprentice she shall be no more. Today I call you master. But what now, you wonder? You shall wander around till you rest behind the sky. Knowledge brings loneliness, and loneliness you shall bear, as you strip the world bare. And if you listen and hear the universe's true, vo oh, true voice, you will know that here and there, oh my god, that's so confusing, are in fact one and the same. Ah, what relief to retrieve the place in the sky that I never left. And yet, yes, you are right. Hmm, what was I saying? <laughs> this is me. <laughs> ah, my faithful follower, have you considered all stars are the same? But we are seeing through a shroud, a shroud of tiny holes, through which we contemplate the only star. Peek through the holes and witness brilliance. Do not fear, apprentice. Do not fear the sky. And do not fear what's behind. Come to me. Together, let us fly through the ether. Ah, yes. Together, we shall soar. Okay, there we go. That was Toad. Um, who else did I get? Missing. Did I? I did do. Yeah, I did do the leaping frog, and I did the toad. Let me see. There's only one more bee. Two more bees. Oh wait, they have a little star icon. Oh, the snail was done. Three. Why do you bother restoring stars? In the end, don't you know it's useless? Life is a pointless struggle. You perform futile tasks again and again, and suddenly you realize you haven't moved an inch. So don't get any wild ideas. You're not going anywhere. Keep on pushing your boulder, just to be crushed by it when it inevitably comes down. Damn, I didn't know snails were such downers. Look, I don't know what you're trying to achieve. Can't you see it's futile? Life's unfair. We're all w waiting in the mud. While a handful of horrible tyrants wallow in luxury. What a bunch of vile dimwits. Only craving power. It says a lot about society. Tell you what, the system is broken, and things ain't gonna change. <laughs> That's it? That's it. You found all my stars. I hope you're proud of yourself. You've put all of this time and effort, and for what? Don't you know there's no point whatsoever? You're keeping yourself busy with your little endeavor, so you don't see how rotten everything is. It's all pointless. Don't even bother drawing me. I will and you're gonna like it! Eh, ho, ha. Mm hmm? You actually brought me back. I don't think you've been listening at all. I could say anything and you'd just stand there nodding. I was Javoga. Wait, seven Oh, this sounds. This looks like a password. See, communication is useless with you. Hey, listen. About what I told you. I guess that I shouldn't have been so rude. Sometimes I can get quite cranky, but you've actually helped a lot, so I'm sorry. Hmm. Still not sure what good can come of it, but I guess I owe you at least a tip. You know what they say, an apple a day keeps a doctor away. Also, it makes you dash as fast as lightning and whatnot. Oh, you might want to have a bite once in a while. Ah, I see. I guess things are in your hands then. I honestly doubt something new will come of this. But you know what? Give it a shot. Why not? Can I talk to you again? Okay. We did it. Um... That was the snail. Cranky but cute. Well, let's look around and catch some more bugs. Oh, are those fireflies? I might not make it before a day. But I will! I will make it! Yes! Didn't even see me coming. How many is that? Oh, one more. Spider! Hanging from a tree trunk. 
Super effing normal. Oh, you're gone gone. Oh, daytime. So I can skip these rocks? How do I do that? Oh. Hmm. Ooh, that's a flat one. Huh! I did it! All the way across. Oh, so you need to find the right shape. Hee <laughs> hee! Cool! Oh, tapple. Oh, what's that? Four? Yes. Okay, cool. Those are done. And I guess that's why the stool's here. You can make it nighttime if you want to. Get a move on. Go! Can I get an eyeball? Thank you. There are the spiders. Tattle. Yeah. Yo! You literally found a part of me! Let's go! That's sick! <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> there's still a couple stars down there. You can always send them my way if you're not too busy. Don't go berserk or something. You can be grinding all the time. Smell you later. Dang, back with another piece already? You're literally on a roll, dude. That's bomb. I'm gonna throw a sick party when I'm whole again. But you know, there's like no need to hurry. Cause at the end of the day, you'll be you'll just be like, Aw oh, man, why didn't I take a break earlier? Now water's too cold to go skinny dip. Know what I mean? Catch you later. <laughs> That's funny. Whoa, you're almost done already. That's cool, I guess. But you know, it's not so bad down there. No responsibilities, no obligations. You can chill as much as you want. Anyways, I'd get it if you have better things to do. I'm just take a soak for a second. No need to worry about me. <laughs> Dude, OMG. You found all my freaking stars already. <laughs> You didn't have to do all this for me, hella sweet. I guess the last thing to do is draw me up. But uh, I mean, there's no rush. I don't really mind staying like this, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was funny. Oh, that's wrong. Wait, how do I... Oh, I don't know. Oh, this goes all the way through. There you go. <laughs> What's up? I'm back, baby. You know what time it is? Time to throw a party! <laughs> Thanks again, dude. Totally invite you, but you know, only spirits allowed. Maybe when you're done with your business, you can come and join us. You met the others yet? Man, some of them can be so lame. Not gonna lie, can't stand moths. Oh, I haven't met moths yet. They're so stuck up all the time. I'd rather straight up chat with a calculator or something. Beep boop. Boring. Anyways, you should totally meet Frog. He's the coolest guy in town. I wish I was that funny. <laughs> you don't... Yo, don't you get tired of walking all the time? You should go for a swim. Water's great. Nothing better than dipping in some green gooey algae. Plus, it's way faster than dragging your feet in the mud. But, uh, you're gonna want to grow a tail or something. I heard there's something you can eat for that. I really don't get what's the deal with legs anyway. Dear Mr. Frog, I hope you are well. Thank you for replying to my previous met. Oh, hey, how long have you been listening? <laughs> I was just DMing my boy. But it's none of your biz, dude. Uh, no. Is that the last one? Ah, uh, I see. Okay, I won't disturb you. I'll let you get back to your biz. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's coming right down on me. Ooh. Trauma. Okay, I got another one. Ooh, one more. I haven't been in this garden much. Let's see. Anything? <gasps> oh! Get him! Get him, get him, get him, get him! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! That's the only one, isn't it? Yes! Five of them, baby! Let's go send them up to the sky. Oh, so are there two circling there? Because uh, there's two I can send up just now? Maybe. Get up there. Yeah. Oh, you poor thing. Lost in the marsh like that? You poor, poor thing. Poor, poor, poor thing. I wish I could shed my light and guide you, but I lost all my stars. I need a kind soul to get them back. You'll do it for me? Aren't you just the sweetest? Oh, what a dear, bringing me a star. Be careful, sweetheart. Not every creature here will look after you like I do. You're so innocent, but seeing you spend time with these bad apples. Stay away from that rough little tadpole, you hear me? That's what I was just talking to. I'm sure you know better. Why are you staring at me like that? I only want the best for you. You'll thank me later. Are you wandering at night? Be careful. I can't bear the thought of something happening to you. As soon as the sun goes down, sit on the log by the fire and wait it out. I'm not joking. Do as you're told. You know, darling, rain is always around the corner, so be sure to bundle up. You don't want to catch a cold. It'd be much more I'd be much more at ease knowing you're not playing under the rain. You don't want to you don't want me to worry, do you? Oh heavens, you did it! You brought all my stars. Oh, I'm so proud! Tracing my shape will be a piece of cake, you'll see. I'll be shining in no time. Is that it? Hey, cool. Let there be light, tee hee. <laughs> Thank you, my little star. I feel fantastic. I'm radiating with joy. Seems like all my efforts were worth it. Well, you know what I mean. Remember to spread kindness around you. If you're not sure how to act, take someone with good manners as an example. Someone like Spider. Isn't she lovely? She's so polite. Very civil young lady. People pay attention to what you do and how you behave. I wouldn't want people to think bad things about you. Oh, now I kind of want to meet Spider. You know it's okay to rest once in a while. Take a seat and grab an apple. You look a little pale. Are you getting enough sun? All the more reason to take breaks. It will give you plenty energy and might even remind you of your former home. So take care of yourself, and, or I'll start thinking I did a bad job looking after you. So darling, are you almost ready? After everything I've done, I wouldn't want to see you get stuck like the others. I'm sure you don't want to disappoint me, do you? That sounds like a last... Yeah, <laughs> kind of dialogue. Okay. What's that? I need more bees. Okay. Um. Maybe. Oh. I guess the night's almost over. Yeah. Let's see. We need angry bug, bees, dragonfly, butterfly, moth, spider. Okay. I haven't seen the moth around in a bit. Oh, so bright. Oh. What was that? Is that a bee I see? Oh, sure is. I'm coming to get you. Oh. Is that it for the bees? Nice. Three of three. Cool. See anything else around? Oh, rainbow! Wow! 
Wow. Pretty. I haven't even seen that yet. Probably says which areas I can find them in. Blossom Haven and Pine Grove. So it's the pink Japanese looking area. Gotta watch out for that mushroom. Ha! Whew! That's good. See something back there. Oh, and another spider tree. Ah, dragonfly. Hello. Nice. Is that four? Awesome. <gasps> and spider. Come on down, little one. Can't wait to talk to you, find out how polite you are. Send them up. Let's go! Into the sky you go. Okay, spider. Oh la la, would you look at that? Nice to eat, I mean, meet you. Don't worry, it's perfectly normal to be nervous. I won't bite unless you ask me to, bien sûr. You need guidance, some sort of guide, oui? So the spider is French? That just so happens to be my specialité. Well, brings me my, bring me my stars and I will tell you how to get out. Simple enough, oui? Now go ahead, go ahead, I'll keep a couple of eyes on you. A new star, merveilleux, merveilleux? Oh, I don't know that word. I mean marvelous, but I don't know how to pronounce it. The way you capture your prey is truly inspiring, but I should tell you something, c'est important. If you want to catch all of them, you'll have to be clever. Some pesky creatures are more vigilant than others. Move silently, silently and stay in their blind spot. You'll be able to snatch them in your web. Ah, the thrill of hunting. I'm getting shivers just thinking about it. You're so lucky, my dear, walking under the sun among daytime critters. Oh la la! Quelle chance! The mesmerizing patterns of their skin, si beau. Don't you want to embrace them? Gently, délicatement. I'm guessing half of the words. All those savory shapes, I could almost taste it. It is a real pity to be a night creature, missing out on all the flavor crawling, flavor crawling under the sun. Alors, are you adjusting to the life in the marsh? Maybe you've met Tapple already. Isn't he just delicious, délicieux? I mean, delightful. <laughs> so wiggly. Mmm, what was I saying? Never mind. Excusez-moi. I feel a bit lightheaded. I must rest. <laughs> Have you been talking to the others? Don't lie, I've seen you look in their way. Did they mention me? Don't listen to those puny hypocrites. Don't you know? Making friends will get you stabbed in the back. This is why I don't make friends. Only acquaintances. Evidemment. Oh, except for you, my little fly. Now help me weave my celestial web. Is it like this? Ooh. Absolutely complete. Enfin. Do you think I won't have to chit chat anymore? What a relief. You served your purpose well. I'll give you that. But now I must go to my back to my own business. Without you, that is. Oui, c'est terrible. I know. Allez, adieu. What now? Listen, little gnat. I don't need you anymore. C'est tout. Nothing personal. It's simply the way the world spins. Tu vois? You, <laughs> if you feel cheated, you can only blame yourself for trusting strangers. Now, don't you have anything better to do? Oh, spider god. Mean real fast. Ugh. Did you really have to free the others? They're so despicable. Always blabbering, such a disgraceful bunch. I think I expected to finally get some quiet up here. Quoi? Encore? Can't take a hint? 
Other humans are usually done by this time. It says a lot about you. Just finish getting all the stars and touch a monolith. It doesn't get much simpler than this. At this point, I only want you gone. Damn, so mean. Okay, that was it. Well, didn't we finish this one? Oh, maybe not. The moth, dragonfly. I think maybe dragonfly was complete. Blistering bones! Witnessing a new generation proving itself. What a blessing. Although I should say, this net you are brandishing, is it really efficient? Wouldn't you rather wield something sturdier? A club, perhaps? A mace? A morning star? Yes, a morning star would do wonders. <laughs> Horse feathers! What fervor and bravery! It reminds me of my old adventures. Such as the glorious battles against a fly of pine woods. What a mighty beast that was. Alas, those tales are ancient history. The relics of a long gone era. Do a knight a favor. Treasure the journey for us both. Your quest is nearly complete. This makes me ponder my return. I can barely carry a halberd, let alone smiting fiends and bandits. What if my burning spark is gone? Maybe it would be best if I did not return to the skies? Clear the path for others to take up the mantle? My constellation might not bear being drawn one more time. These old stars might be better left alone. Wait, is this one of them as well? Uh, what was the shape? Spider! Uh, this one. Oh, you're complicated. Okay. Mmm, that makes sense. That sizzles! Suddenly it's all so clear. No one is born to greatness. Even an old timer like me can still be of use. I was too accustomed to bear the hero, to be the hero of the story. Saddle goose, what hubris! Indeed, there's no small contribution. Not every hero carries a sword. You've shown me that. Thank you for giving me this old bug a last adventure. Cute. By Jupiter! <laughs> What a bliss to recover one's strength. Aha! I feel more alive than ever. This outburst of vigor makes me want to draw my sword and rush into the heat of battle. Slashing and cleaving, bashing and crushing, fighting until my last breath. But no need to tell you about it. You must be familiar with this already. I'm not sure what jesters might have told you, but sneaking around crawling behind your foes, that isn't worthy of a champion. Throwing pebbles to stun your foes is plainly disloyal. You must always confront your enemies face to face. Run at them and shout as loud as possible. Swing that net as if a thousand mosquitoes were onto you. This is the only honorable way to fight a battle. <laughs> I'm sure your valiant heart shields you from fear, so embrace the unknown. An untasted fruit is a wonder we shall never meet. And with every dawn, a new discovery awaits, even if death waits around the corner. Glory will prevail. Uh, that was it, right? Yes. Okay, cool. I think I'm getting closer to the end. Just three left. Angry bug, butterfly, and moth. Okay. Moth. Moth! Straight ahead. Go, 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 go. Yo. Get him, get him, get him. I'm coming for you. Hiya! And yes! Two! Ha ha ha! Awesome! Oh yeah, frozen marsh. It's a square. There you are. Hey, human. Yes, yes, you down there. What do you think you're doing? Don't you know there's a protocol? Can't just go around messing with a monolith. You have no idea what you're, no idea what you're doing, do you? Typical. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> no, no, no! You're using your net all wrong. You need to hold it steady, then release. Hold it and release. Those things come with a manual, you know? Actually, they're a safety hazard. I actually did read the manual. In fact, they shouldn't even be allowed. I know all there is to know about space. Did you know that there are over a hundred billion solar... Uh, sh uh, 
I must it. I get helium, light, and heat from the turning of so called shooting stars. Did you know space average temperature is 50 Kelvin? That's around 5 minutes. That's the way you're good now. You can easily show me. There's no way for space. <laughs> hey! Are you even listening? I'm trying. Do you even know why you're here? The level of comprehension among humans these days. Actually, I suppose it's always been this way. Well, you're in for a surprise. Tell me you at least know how to connect stars. I'll show you how. <laughs> hmm. Actually, I might have been wrong about you. I can reoccupy my proper position now. I presume I will be the first one back. As procedure indicates, of course. I'll greet the others when they arrive. Thank you. You're not exactly the first. Always remember to archive everything. Information is knowledge. Without knowledge, we're running around mindlessly. Ergo, meticulously record your thoughts in a journal. It is absolutely crucial. If you do not keep track of everything you do, how would anyone remember you when you are no more? That's a little scary. Uh, sometimes I wonder, how can people live so oblivious of everything? Stumbling in darkness, blindly. Tenebrae in perpetuum. Sometimes I pity them. But they don't seem to care for my expertise, so really, it's their loss. I've been observing your journey closely. You've been wandering for an hour and 44 minutes and 26 seconds. <gasps> oh! Traveled 3,198 paces and restored 47 stars out of 49. Oh, only two more to go. Someone needs to track your progress. Oh yeah, of course. The butterfly and the... Angry bug? Okay. Um, yeah, this little guy. And then... Oh, the bees? Oh, I did the bees. What a disaster. Stars scattered around this filthy marsh. We shall roll up our sleeves and rise again. Such tedious task. Let's lift up the sky so we can be whole. Never again lost or alone, but in the loving embrace of her highness. We can feel it. Everything is in place. You pleased the queen. What an honor. Now take us beyond the horizon, and we can light up the sky with the song of our wings. Is that it? Oh. Easy one. Time for us to get back to work. Let's bend the rivers and lift the mountains. Maybe we could use a tiny little break. No! We must return to work because that's who we are and how we ascend. Others do not always think highly of what we do, and our work can be thankless and exhausting. But who would care to put everything back into place if not for us? Make no mistake, we carry what's truly magnificent. What a joy to fly through the fields, brothers and sisters spreading life around. You are one of us now. You should do the same. If you find a bag of seeds, scatter them around and witness the magnificence of nature. Magnificence? Are you ready to join us? Take your place in the hive? You'll have the honor of serving the queen. Transcend the terrible loneliness you must feel. Belong to something. Be one with all our hearts. Don't you want to be more? Ooh. I think I'm almost there. Butterfly and angry, angry guy. Uh, wait, are they daytime? Basks in the sun? Yeah, they're both daytime. Sits alone in the sun. Okay. Daytime, please! Angry bug? You around here? Butterfly? Oh, angry bug. Yes. Is that the last one? Nice. Okay. Ooh. Make an S and then up. Okay. Um, what about butterfly? Ooh, there it is. 
This is where the butterfly should be. Yeah, I see it. Sneak up on it. And that's it. <gasps> yes. Okay, small triangle and then up. Gotcha. I just gotta wait for the sun to set. Which is now. What a pretty game. Very cute. That's so. Here it goes. Shoot him up. Do you think the angry bug is actually really angry? About time! Anyone there? Oh, you're so small! I almost didn't see you! It must be quite humbling to be in my presence, catching a glimpse of my godly radiance, shining like a pure, perfect beacon over this, uh, marsh. Well, this was, um, a solid introduction. <laughs> Another star on my chest. Isn't that just a glorious? Why isn't there anyone cheering? Are you blind? Perhaps mute? Anyway, I can tell you're speechless. <laughs> oh, if it isn't my number one fan. You've been hard at work. I can recognize the zeal of admiration you have for me. So, I thought you might like an encouraging pep talk. So, let me think. Um, alright. You're doing an adequate job. <laughs> okay, well that went great. It's not every day that you get a recognition from your heroes. Hop hop now, get back to it. We are like shooting stars, a short spark easily forgotten. Oh, pardon me, you probably think I'm hard to follow. Not everyone is gifted with such talent for poetry. Ah, life must be so simple for someone as drab as yourself. But rejoice! After all, you have the honor of bringing me back. That's right, it's time for my grand return. Okay, so... That and then up. Cool. At last! Back to my exquisite, perfect self. I shall take my rightful place in the sky as the finest constellation of all. Oh, my minuscule friend. It's time for us to part ways, but I won't ever forget you. Oh. Hello. Have we met? <laughs> it's hard to keep track of faces when you're as popular as me, but I can see in your eyes you're one of my fans. Well, the pleasure is all yours. You must have traveled quite a distance just to see me. I can tell by your look. Your red, dumbstruck face is telling of a long journey. Well, just to you I say, cherish it while you still can. <laughs> That's funny. I'd love to exhibit more of my godly radiance, but I'm not sure it's safe. You wouldn't just stare at the sun, would you? Oh, of course. I'd be completely wor it'd be completely worth it to someone like you, but I won't allow. I'm just not that kind of deity. Bee, you've reached Beetle. I'm not available right now. You can, however, send loving thoughts in the form of a wish in a well, or a coin in a fountain, or any preferred type of wishful thinking. <laughs> Is that the last message? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, and then, last but not least, butterfly. Here we go around again, flying in circles all in vain, hoping he notices me. Fluttering so he might see. Will he notice if I shout? Or if I try to ask him out? I'll find such courage no time soon. I should have stayed in my cocoon. Oh, that rhymed. If I was fast or more daring, he would look at me and scream. What a quick athletic thing! How neat they are, how swift the wing! But he's so sharp and I'm low-key. Slack and slow and what's more, hokey. No one likes slow, floaty bugs. Seeing me, he'd likely shrug. <laughs> I'd spend time on a log under the sky, and quickly hours passed by. Quiet, I waited on his path, but in the end, he walked straight past. <sighs> it's hard to tell why. Maybe I should have worn a bow? Maybe I should have played banjo. 
If only I had more to show. Perhaps I should have said hello. <laughs> Amazing. My stars, you got them all? With these, I'll get to sprawl. Once my constellation is drawn, there's no reason left to hold on. Hey, maybe I could tell him now. Oh, but who am I kidding? Wow. Sharing my feelings, I trust, would simply make me combust. Okay, so this one was triangle out. He brought me back fresh as a daisy with a body made of stars. That's crazy. I suppose I never really thanked you for your help and what you went through. So thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. I feel more confident. Well, just a tad. With my stars restored and my pride healing, I'll find the ways to confess my feelings. That's all of them. The bee. Who's my favorite? Oh. Hmm. Oh, what? What happened? Oh. Can I go? Wait. Time for you to say farewell. No, no way. I'm not ready. Um. Uh, butterfly. Other. I have great news to tell. It's hard not to yell. Well, I don't want to freak out, but he loves me a lot, there's no doubt. Yes, yes, I'm not kidding. See, I picked a daisy and started chanting. Loves me, loves me not. I'll let you guess on which one I stopped. I flew by Cricket, heart filled to the brim, but I was too shy to engage with him. And he looked at me, I swear, but it was a strange glare. Like he was suspicious? Does he think I'm sly? Stupid me, I should have said hi. It's okay, next time I'll be bright. There will be a next time, right? Did I already tell you? I confessed my love, it's true. I'm so proud I managed to muster the courage to write a heartfelt letter and then went to find him. It was so tense, I'm still shaking. I dropped it nearby, he almost saw me. He'll know my true feelings, finally. Oh, achievement unlocked, chatty. That must have been it then. Well? What happens now that I have them all? Do I get my own place in the sky? Whoa! Oh, that's so pretty. I do get my own place in the sky. Oh. <laughs> what is this to? Oh, Tadpole. Hey. I saw the friends. Yo, you made it. Kind of epic, not gonna lie. Oh, I'm so relieved. Yeah, yeah, the human pulled through. But even then, what's the point? What's the point? Aren't you happy to finally see our sweet little star? I'm not saying I'm not glad to see them or anything, but... You wake up and go about your day, and then blam! Game over. It's a vicious, never-ending cycle. No matter who you are, everyone ends up here someday. Come on, dude, you're thinking too hard. As long as you enjoy the ride, who cares about the rest? Carpe diem, you know? <laughs> Just don't get your hopes up is all I'm saying. Or disappointment will crush you down. Will you stop for one moment? What's with all this gloom? We should be celebrating, but you're being a real killjoy. Oh, she got you good. <laughs> and you can't... And you, can't you speak normal for a minute? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I knew this time would come, but this is so soon. I really you sh wish you would have stayed longer. But I'll try to put my feelings aside for your sake. Spread your wings, my little star. There they go. Oh, I can talk to all of them. 
while the credits roll. Ah, oh, that's so cute! So pretty. Where'd you guys go? Are oh, you staying back there? Or are you coming with me? Hee <laughs> hee. Let's do another one. Moss! Beetle. Oh, and the heroic dragonfly. My number one fan! I can't believe you came all this way just to see me. Scratch that, of course I can. Ugh, it's hardly surprising at all. Use some logic for once. What comes after the marsh? The celestial fields, of course. And look, here they are. By the sweet tooth of Jupiter. You make it seem so easy, but you should know. It takes a burning heart to find the right way through darkness. Oh, don't worry. Simply one glance in my direction and my radiant personality will inspire any poor soul. Uh, neither bravery nor devotion has any impact on the procedure. By design, the marsh acts as a transitional space, so it all depends on the desire of the subject to move on, since the liminal limbo will keep them busy for as long as possible. By the torches of Hecate! Are you trying to put everyone to sleep? Enough blabbering, our friend awaits consecration. I wouldn't expect a barbarian to take interest in anything other than which side of the sword is sharper or which direction the nearest tavern is. So of course you don't care about the intricacies of the firmament. Why make things so convoluted? Brave souls go up and craven souls go down, that's it, surely. It all hinges on how fiercely we look into the eye of the grim reaper. Very imaginative. Everyone knows heaven and hell are mythological constructs, created by humans to make sense of the afterlife. Perhaps so soldiers would blissfully waste our life in useless battles? Floundering saddle! I shan't believe we died for nothing, and if that makes me old-fashioned, then I am old-fashioned. Oh, talking about fashion, I'd give you some style advice, but I wouldn't even know where to start. Blessed are the simple-minded. Human, go ahead and save yourself. Your stupidity will start to rub off on you if you stay any longer. Wait, you forgot your autograph! <laughs> so cute oh there's the next one come along guys we're halfway there <laughs> oh oh there it is I lost my way butterfly cricket spider Ah, finally here! Glad to see they didn't get you. I knew you'd get to the bottom of this rabbit hole and uncover the truth. Oh, this sounds like a piece of lore. Oh, Cricket, please tell us more. Ah, mais oui, Cricket. I have my eyes on you. Why don't you share with us the results of your little investigation? You've been watching? Oh, well, the truth. Uh, the truth is... What's the matter? Did the cat get your tongue? Or perhaps you were willing, willingly spreading lies? Allez, just spit it out. I can smell the sweat on you. Okay, you got me, I made it up! In my defense, I really thought there was a conspiracy at first. But after a while, I realized that none of my theories made any sense. I didn't want people to think I'm stupid, so I doubled down. I'm just a fraud and a dumb bug. What? Cricket, you can't say that. You're so intrepid and gutsy. Not to mention, quite the hottie. Uh, right, Spider? Honestly, I couldn't care less about your petty little love games. It's pathetic to see you both wiggling in your own webs of lies. Exactly like those lost, wandering souls, prisoners of their own minds. Scared to face their fate and unable to move on. I would almost pity them, if it wasn't so entertaining. It's not their fault, it's their mind's health. It's frightening to face yourself. I understand the how and why. Some tortured souls in circles fly. You're not tortured when you fly, Monarch. I'd say you fly more, I don't know, heavenly? Ah, <gasps> oh, disgusting. The only places I'd like to see you two mingle is on a silver platter. Speaking of, I'm getting hungry. Uh, I think we should get going. The only mystery left is what lies beyond this bright light. Here he go. 
Woohoo! So many friends! Very smart how they did it with the, the credits. How they don't really interrupt the gameplay, but they're showing it at the same time. Amazing. Froggy! Toad! Bee. All right, let's get the show on the road. So, a bee, a toad, and a frog walk into a bar. <laughs> Everyone knows where this is going. Wait, is this thing on? We're impressed by everything you've accomplished. And to think you did it all without a hive. What pain it must have been, what terrible loneliness. And yet you still managed to ascend. Solitude is not to be feared. To look within the mind is to see without body. And if you look inside, you truly look outside. Only by yourself can you free yourself. Yes, we can only escape your condition by acknowledging it. The Hive will truly be blessed to have such a strong soul. No time to lose. Take the steps to fulfill you, your true potential. Not sure if it sounds more like a cult or a startup, am I right? Needless to say, the road to enlightenment is a path of barrenness. The remains of the past must be left behind. Yes, you really mustn't worry. It's completely painless. Quite the opposite. A true liberation. That's what the urologist said. <laughs> so much reading. It is now time to cross the hor horizon of all things and forever bathe in all of time and space, beyond life and death outside the confines of self. Embrace the unknown. Yes, never alone again. No eternal bliss and belong. Well, I guess it's time. That was a neat one, my friend. I hope we meet again some sunny day. Although, I wouldn't count on it. But, uh, look at the stars once in a while, eh? So many friends! Whoa! So many colors. What are you doing? Ooh. Oh! The eternal bench in the sky. Whoa. So pretty. I didn't expect this at all. I just thought like, oh, buck collecting game, cute. <laughs> oh, it's me with my stubby little fingers. That's cute. Am I become becoming one with the sky? Is that my constellation? The end. Oh, it's a net. That's cute. That was nice. We did it. I wonder why. Oh, I wonder why it's like a Japanese cartridge. What that has to do with all of this. But yeah, very, very nice. It was a very nice, chill little time. It took me about two hours to play. I I don't know if it's like better to do bug by bug or if you just like... Like, I, I read them categorically, so I was like, okay, these are all the frog dialogues. And I kept them all together. Um... But I wonder if it's more fun to like do it just like all over the place, like to catch a snail and a spider and then go to a thing and talk to them separately. I guess you could do it that and just like talk to them as you get them. But it was for me, it was a little bit more organized to do them as a group to make sure I didn't get lost as well and remember who's who. <laughs> Yeah, very, very nice. I'm glad I finally played it. Um, the soundtrack wasn't as, didn't, for me, didn't add as much to it as I thought it would. Because for Hyperlight Drifter, I feel like it adds a lot to the game. But for me, the audio for this game, I'm sure Nate will pump it up. But for me, the audio for this game was pretty soft. So it was more like a calming, like, background filler than anything. It was more like a mood setting than a soundtrack. Does that make sense? Maybe I should just listen to it on Spotify or something and see if I like it more. I was also really busy reading and catching bugs, so who knows? 
But yeah, that was Paradise Marsh. I hope you guys liked that. I had a great time playing. I'm so glad I finally played it. I'm slowly chipping away at my list of so long, a super long list of short games like this. Like they're just like one-offs, but um, I have a lot that I want to get to and I'm behind on. So it's nice to get another one done. And uh, it was really nice, nice little time. So thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon with something else.